Converge from Brazil, I suppose. Uh, what do you think about code challenges for job interviews? Hmm. <sighs> That's a good question as well. Um, I mean, I, I like the fact that um, you can kind of have some sort of... I, I don't like the word challenge. I don't think it should be a challenge. I think it's... Um, for code interviews, what I like and what I try to do in the companies where I'm interviewing people, I think it's always nice to like have some problem that you're like you actually do come across in your professional life in that company in that context and kind of pair program with the person yeah i hate the idea of like having some interviews that are almost like js trivia i think it's, yeah, yeah. it's garbage um because it's not really about okay what happens when you try to convert like a, an empty uh object into a type blah, 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 because probably you're not gonna come across that kind of thing very often but I think it's a nice way for you to program pair program with your candidate or maybe even help your candidate out if he's like nervous or if he's stuck on something because that's very common um, because you want to understand how the person thinks or reasons yes. about problems not like how much the, he, his memory is able to like write and invert a binary tree on the whiteboard I think that's not yeah valid. and it's also like a, a, a huge problem with um One thing that I'm super interested in is that concept, like concepts spread because they have some kind of mechanic inside of them that makes them easy to spread. Like uh, concepts and tools and stuff like that does not necessarily spread because they are good. Yeah. They spread because they, they are spreadable. Uh, and um, an example of that is uh, like these coding interviews were like with with simple like simple problems that you can describe in like a wiki document yeah. uh, because uh, when it comes to software interviews you have to get like your engineers to do the interviews and you don't have much time to train the engineers to do the interviews and they are not very motivated to do yeah. the interviews the interviews are basically just a distraction and yeah. they want to get back to working on the backlog uh, so you have like these wiki documents where like, oh, this is at Spotify, they have this Minecraft problem uh, that uh, they, I hope they have replaced it by now because yeah. it's so like, it, it's not a bad problem, but it's like, you can learn to optimize for it. Yeah, exactly. And that's just, like the meta problem of the entire thing that these coding challenges, since they are easy to teach to the engineers that make yeah, them, yeah. they are also easy to teach to the people that exactly. yeah. are doing them. Yeah, I think it's kind of lame how the interviews nowadays became so traumatizing. It really shouldn't be the case because like they're not trying to like scare someone away from even wanting to work at your company because I think interviews, especially the technical ones, are also something that will give the candidate uh, an overview like, do I want to work at this company? Yeah. And like if I'm being intimidated or driven away by like not being able to remember something from like that I decorated, uh, then maybe it's not worth working there. Yeah. So I think like interviews in that sense should be more human in terms of like really help your candidate out. If he's a coworker, yeah. if he's going to become a coworker, then that's probably what you're going to do anyways. Right. Yeah. So like in the interviews, like maybe try to focus more on how this person reason about problems. Is he actually, does he have a good knowledge base if you have a good theory base and what we want to apply here rather than can he remember enough stuff yeah like autonomy in uh yes like, like it's important that a person can go and solve a problem relatively unassisted but it's that skill is a little bit too uh, overrated yeah. because software development nowadays is built in these huge teams so a, a big like you you allude to here like a, the, a big thing to look for is like can this person ask for help in an exactly. effective manner? Yeah. Can they can they explain how they are stuck? Yeah. And when you explain like can when you try to help them, do they absorb that exactly. help? Exactly. Yeah. So it's like yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I totally agree with the pair programming bit. Like yeah, we I love um it. we experimented with like I've only seen it done a little bit uh, in a prior workplace, uh, I team we experimented with actually doing like customer work 
So we got a release from the customer to use. Uh, yeah, I was gonna like, say uh, that you have to, you probably have to have like NDA and like yeah. a bunch of like certifications that it's fine by this customer. Yeah, yeah, no, but we uh, like we asked the customer and we had them sign okay. an NDA and we also like um, uh, we also compensated it for okay. them because it was basically half yeah, a day's work. work. Yeah, yeah. and uh, that was like. Uh, marvelous nice. it uh, it turned out great learning there though is that spend the time with the candidate and allow them to set up the environment on their computer because it's really hard to use somebody else's computer for coding yeah exactly you're not really used to the, the whole setup um, mm. Isa have you put 